put my teeth back in. It's been a very emotional <laughs> second half, I've got to be honest. Uh, and ask uh, Mr. Stephen Graham uh, to come forward and to first of all cut the uh, the ribbon uh, and then to lay the wreath. <laughs> Hello everyone. Uh, as you can tell, I'm not from round here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if the accent gave it away like it. Um, but I've, I've lived around these parts for a long time, um, and when I was asked to be involved, I, I didn't hesitate. When I, you know, it's, it's just been the unity so beautifully bred out by Sue, Mrs. Whitick, and you know, the impact it must have had on this community must have been devastating. Um, actually, I was there with my wife a minute ago. And, some old fella came over and said his great granddad was still buried down in the ground, you know what I mean? Which just shows you how how this still lives on in people's lives, you know what I mean? So for me to be a part of this is an absolute honor, and I think it's a beautiful sculpture and a piece of design. And these lovely benches that, you know, I'll talk to you when I go away, I said, it'd be lovely to sit there and reminisce. So there souls are still alive within our hearts and the conversations that can be had on these these benches with you know the next generation so they can learn about their history and because they're the future so let them have pride in where they're from and what it's all about and you know it's just an honor to be here so from the bottom of my heart and that was a beautiful eulogy you read it out beautifully and, and anyone who's connected with the, any of those men the lad, you must be so proud um, and the pride and sense of being a part of this community must resonate with it all of you. So it's an honour to be adopted as one of you lot. So thank you very much. <laughs> Alright, well, yeah, just that's perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah.